Lorelei, the new champion, has arrived, and so have you to check out what she's all about. If you want all the latest in Heroes Evolved, then make sure you become part of the Moon Empire by subscribing. Our challenge with Nixor is still on. He challenged us to finish a game faster than him, but today we are going to be ch checking out Lorelei. She's an amazing champion and she is a support unit. I think that was long overdue in our game. Her first skill is a lock-on skill that jumps between enemy units and champions, dealing damage equal to her percentage of their health. That it makes me believe that she can also be a great archer hero instead of a mage. If you want to see an ADR build on her, then let me know in the comment section down below. Her second skill gives vision and slows the enemies. Her ult boosts her first and second abilities and resets the cooldown of both of those. Finally, her fourth, oh you better not fight me, her fourth gives allies it passes through a shield. And that is why I think that combining her with heroes like Borgen or heroes that need a little bit of time, such as Daemon, is a great way to abuse it. That is also why I asked some of my friends to join this game and we are currently playing all of those champions so you don't just see what this hero is all about, but also you get to check out the best synergies. So definitely make sure you check this video out until the very end because the team fights are not something that you want to miss. <laughs> Let's get it man. Oh, oh sh I pressed the wrong ability there, my bad. So the shield is going to be a little bit delayed. But let's try and have some fun in this game. Let's try and see how we can dominate these guys. Look at the crazy range on that second skill as well. Remember, this is one of my first games. Apparently, it was so good that it got to be on the tube right off the bat. But that second skill has insane range. And the first skill is actually so good that it locks on. The thing that I hated about Pandora was that her skills did not lock on or deal damage to minions. But that is that is in the past. Laura Lay that wall gets me every single time. Laura Lay actually has a lock on. So if you use that first skill, it will lock on to enemies and it will jump to minions or enemies next to them. I've seen that it actually jumps back jump back once. Jumps back once. So if it jumps to Damon right here, it will jump back once to the Lilith. Oh, his ult got interrupted. I think that I actually think that we did that by popping that ultimate and then casting the second skill. We got a uh, we got a boost on our ability that actually made him uh, get stunned. Of course, it could also have been Damon with his silence or Doctor Mad here with his stun. But this team comp is not something to mess around with. I know you want to see high tier gameplay and this is some palladium gameplay right here. This is high rank players. These are high ranked opponents so we are not taking it lightly. Come on run. Run 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 run. Oh get the slow. He's slow. Oh his jump is coming up. I'm out. I'm out. Okay stick around. Stick around. Don't fall back too soon. Okay I think oh that stun just missed. The wall got us there. Don't worry okay, <laughs> luckily we have Mythos and Mythos solved everything in this match. Dropping in hot, here we come. I, look, the team fight has already started. We are on our way, come on. Get there in time, please. Get there. Okay, we got the stun. Oh, we managed to hit two, both the Stiletto and the Daemon. But unfortunately they have Yabin. And Yabin, you know, you don't mess with the Yabin. Oh. He really likes to pop that clone and it deals so much damage. Okay, look at that, look at that. Mythos is baiting this. If we could just get some... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. No, Mythos, wrong side of the wall, dude. Oh my god. Did you see that on the map? You can probably rewind it real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> he was stuck on the... He actually crossed the wall on the other side and had to wait to cross back. I couldn't bait that any... anymore. Yikes, dude. Okay, about to respawn. Let's jump right in. This hit new hero got me hyped. I have not been this hyped for the game in a long time. And I'm not just, I'm not somebody who is, you know, overly hyped for anything just to, you know, try and be funny, trying to get attention. I'm almost there. But I'm actually really hyped for this. This new hero looks like a ton of fun. It has the vision, it has good damage, it has good support, which we lack. I mean, the the, uh, the Lotus only really the ultimate is good, and for Jan, really only the ultimate is good. 
So this hero has a lot more firepower of her own. She has the shield and she has the boosting abilities. I think they did a great job on this hero. I'm not sure if they copied it from any other game. But if they didn't, then it's actually an original and nice, uh, nice hero here. Look at that bouncy bounce. Try not to kill him too quick. All right. <laughs> I can't. I can't promise. Okay. So we can use the uh, the dome breaker to kill the clones as well. We might not want to do that though. It's a little bit of a waste. Oh, the stun from Yabin there, clutching it. No, 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 no. Pop all the bit. Oh my God! There you go. Easy peasy. I'm not sure where the shield came from in that instant. The shield was all the way out there. Oh my god, this is the power of the hero. Look, what you do, if you want insane damage, you pop your first skill. Then, do you have enough health? You pop your ultimate, pop the first skill again. If you don't have enough health, you pop the first skill, ultimate, into the second where you stun them. Or, what you always want to do in this combo is also shoot out the shield. I know it's a lot to take in, but just practice. Shoot out the shield to just give yourself that shield. So while you're pressing the first skill, throw out the shield, pop the ultimate, throw out the shield, uh, the, the first skill again. Got Dome Breaker, even better. Oh my god, we can do crazy combos with this. It's all mechanics, guys. It's all mechanics, and that's what I love most. Oh my god, pop the shield! Use the Dome Breaker! Oh my god, I couldn't. I think the silence hit at the exact moment where I was trying to pop that Dome Breaker. Oh my god, and Dr. Matt is chasing it. He's, yeah, he's jumping the wall. I think that Dr. Matt could be pretty dead here. Yup, he's dead. For sure. Oh, nice job, Borgen. Great save there. Wow, what a fun new hero. I definitely recommend checking this hero out because I actually think that this could be something good for our game. This should be it boys, final segment of the video. I think we are looking at a clear victory here. And I'm saying the final segment, but to be honest, they are still putting up quite the fight even though we should have them on the ropes. That's just because their team is so good. Look at that damage, 20% damage just once, one, two. So the longer they stall, the better it is. So the real power comes from, I think, the stun in the team fight. So if we pop the ulti and get the second in, there we go. At least we hit Brady. The rest, I don't even know. I think we got, we at least hit two, but the team is demolishing everything. There we go. We take a kill on top of everything. And that is a team fight with the new hero, Lorelei. How awesome is that stuff? <laughs> I can't even keep up with the talking. Well... This hero is looking amazing, Lorelei, the build is on the thumbnail so you can check that out as well. Everything you wanted to know about the new hero, you got it right in this video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Also, I got two more awesome videos for you. The left one is the previous one and the right one is one I recommend that you watch next. Do not let the fun end. Go check it out, what are you waiting for?